Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 3.6 earthquake near Ocotillo, California. 32 people reported feeling this earthquake. And according to the focal mechanism ball, we got spreading of the fault line. This earthquake was not far and along the same fault line as the 4.5 earthquake that occurred on the 10th of this month. These earthquakes have been occurring along the Laguna Slada fault zone, which runs in and is part of the Sierra Prado fault zone. This fault zone is responsible for an 1892 7.8 earthquake along the uh, Mexicali border. You can see it right here. And not far from this area is the Cerro Prado Geothermal Field. They feel, geologists who later came in and did a study, um, felt that the 2010 7.2 earthquake along the same fault zone, this geothermal field was responsible for causing this earthquake. Geologists who gave the approval, I guess, for the uh, a Sierra Preto geothermal field felt that this fault zone was inactive. Well, actually, it's not inactive. It's a relatively new fault zone. We all know it's well publicized that geothermal um, does create earthquakes. Here we have the Salton Sea. And we got uh, different geothermal energy plants. And there's a new one called Hell's Kitchen that's going to be um, built in this area soon by a company from Australia. Or actually, they're in the pro progress, in the process of building Hell's Kitchen. Here we have the Hudson Energy Services. That's right there. Cal Energy Unit 4, right there. Um, Elmore Geothermal Facility in the same area. Let me pull this back up. Let's see, we got Cal Energy Generator right there. Um, I don't know if it shows Hell's Kitchen on here that's going to be built. No, I don't see Hell's Kitchen. You may notice all these one point earthquakes that I put. These are all today 1.6, 1.7, 1.4. On the Caltech website, they have all these recent earthquakes in this area in Acadillo. Uh, California, the 1.7, 1.4, 1 1.8, um, the 3.6. And there was some other one. Here's another one. Um, a 1.0, um, another 1.0. Now, that was yesterday. Um, these other ones were all today. Wikipedia has a list of all the geothermal power plants. There's the one that's being planned, um, Hell's Kitchen. Supposed to be in operation um, in 2023. According to NASA, uh, the Laguna Salda fault system is an extended link of the Elsnore fault system. Because it's a younger fault system, it is still developing where repeated earthquakes have not yet created a smoother single fault instead of several strands. The Ocotillo section had an aftershock of a 5.7 earthquake that occurred in 2010 in Baja, California, Mexico. And there's its location. Now, it was attributed to the geothermal field. Um, you know, at first I was wondering if these were all small aftershocks from the magnitude 4.5 that they had earlier this month. Um, and how they can say that this area... Um, doesn't have earthquakes when there is artwork, um, petroglyphs uh, within the Superstition Mountains uh, showing um, earthquakes and volcanic activity. Native Americans uh, believe that areas of earthquakes and volcanic activity had high spiritual meaning. And they actually had shamans that traveled all the way from Utah to this area. Um, to perform rituals for whatever they wanted, maybe to bring rain in Utah or um, some other uh, sacred rituals. So many petroglyphs glyphs were found in this area that um, scientists actually, some of them said that uh, the Native Americans just had 
uh, too much free time on their hands to make the petroglyphs, which yeah, I find ridiculous. Those of you that follow me will remember the 3.9 earthquake that are reported up here by the geothermal power plants. That was on the 6th of this month, and 45 people reported feeling that earthquake. So my concern is with this hydrothermal activity, and this one here is the second largest hydrothermal plant in the world. Have they possibly set the stage for a larger earthquake to come in this area? Uh, possibly a 7.8 like they had in 1892? I don't know. I hope not. Uh, because the population is a lot larger than it was back then. Especially in Mexicali. Yeah, all along this area. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.